you guys remember that scene from the diary of a mad black woman <laughs> when they was in that closet and they're trying to rip them clothes rip it that's what i want to do to this wallpaper i just want to just rip it off i cannot I... hey guys welcome back to the channel spring is officially here i have been cleaning all week <laughs> trying to declutter the van so that i can work on some modifications i didn't get everything done because i took a little trip i went to disney california adventure park and i also went to the san diego zoo i felt a little guilty going to the disney park without you guys but we have our trip planned in october so we'd be able to hang out at disneyland but yeah so i've been in the van working, cleaning, trying to get the van organized. I've been wanting to do this since last year. I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I wanted to take everything out of the van and get it all nice and clean and organized. Slowly working on that for about the past week. Wanted to do it before now, but I got really busy with the orders. You guys came through. Thank you so much for purchasing my merchandise. I was taking out my dining room table, so I will show you that. I'm also going to put up some wallpaper. Um, I'll show you in just a second, but on my back wall here, and I'll take you back there in just a second, I put up some black and white wallpaper about a year and a half ago, this here, and I don't know if I want to add it to um, other areas in the van, I'm still trying to decide on that, but I did purchase some white wallpaper. Also, I have here some reflective it may not happen in this video, but I will film it. I'm going to take my refrigerator out and add some reflective to the back wall. Whenever my refrigerator is in direct sunlight, it struggles with keeping up with the temperature. I do have ice packs that I put inside of the refrigerator. It helps. I have a friend that replaced her refrigerator. She added reflective to the back wall before they put the new refrigerator in, and she noticed a significant difference in the temperature. So I'm going to give that a try. I've already started pulling things out my van is a hot mess don't judge me because you know I keep my space tidy but like I said I've been working hard trying to get everything cleared out of the van so that I can reorganize and put it back in I didn't realize how much stuff I had and I guess because I am very organized that it didn't seem like it was a lot of a lot of um, things mainly clothes <laughs> I have quite a bit of clothes I want to give away to those that are in need I'm going to organize but before I do I want to show you guys this wallpaper on the back wall <laughs> look at all this stuff back here oh it's a hot mess a wallpaper that i put up uh about a year and a half ago and it's held up nicely and so like i said i don't know if i want to add it somewhere else in the van or just leave it on this wall i'm not sure but i am going to go ahead clean my cabinets and put the white wallpaper up can you guys see this i have this metal piece here i'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I don't want to take it off because when I go to sell my van, I want to get as much money as I can. So I don't want to make too many cosmetic changes to my van. But yeah, so I'm just adding some wallpaper. Stuff falling everywhere. I'm going to add some wallpaper. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm not sure um, what I'm going to do in the bathroom. I haven't updated. Oh, I forgot to mention this. So I am thinking about uh, redecorating my van. <laughs> I love to decorate. I love it. I love it. I love it. And if I could not decorate this van, I don't think I can live it. I've already looked at some new colors. I'm thinking about going with pink, not the pink that you see, but a baby pink. So yeah, we just have to see. I don't know. I got all kind of ideas in my head. So we just see how it unfolds. Um, so as far as the bathroom, I haven't done anything to my bathroom since I purchased the van. So like the reef that's on the wall um, and then the picture that's all of those things have been here since I purchased the van. I had a tree. I had a tree Velcroed to the floor here. That's my broom. See all this junk I got? <laughs> I had a tree Velcro to the floor and the cats chew that up. The kittens that I had. I don't know what I'm going to put in that place. I don't know if I want to do another tree or if I'm going to do um, something else. I don't know. I don't know. And then there's not much to do here. Maybe add another plant or put my plant back that I had there. But I kind of want to do something to the. I'm thinking as far as the colors. Uh, pink because I love pink but more of a baby pink gold uh, black 
I think mainly those three colors and of course a little bit of white so we'll just have to see we'll have to see I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the kitchen but I'm going to take this out this happy I've had for oh my god I don't know how many years this was in my first RV so the first RV that I had my colors was rainbow colors so that's what I did was add a little bit more paint to it to brighten up the colors I'm going to take out my refrigerator like I mentioned and add the reflectors to the back of it I have to go behind this panel here I know that I'm not going to be able to do it in this video but I am going to take out this shelf I put this shelf in it did not come with the van this is actually a coat closet there's a wooden bar that goes across here that you can hang your coats and shirts. I put in this rack here and I actually built it on the inside of this closet so I'm going to take that out I've already started taking some things out I got this here from a follower it's called that's my jam I haven't tried it yet it's peach cobbler jam and her website I can't get it to focus but it is that's my jam company.com if you guys love jam you can check it out this is the table that I'm taking out and this is the new table that I'm putting in its place taking out my dining room table because I need more space in this area for being able to work with my crafting projects so I'm taking out that table I have a small fold up table I'm going to put that in place whenever I need it but for now I just want the space to remain open so it was all up in the air I haven't made any final decisions or anything like that I just feel like it's spring I want something different I want something new let's clean let's organize let's get this pad looking good I already cleaned out the bottom drawers and then I need to clean out my cubbies. And there's my dryer. Thank you to Morris for sponsoring today's video. They are running a spring promotion on their website where you can get $100 off. And if you use my code, where is Tiffany, you get an additional $30 off. That's $130 off of this dryer. So make sure you check that out. The link is in the description box below. I haven't showed you guys this toaster oven. I need to do a video showing you my appliance. I keep them under you can see the hole to the cubby I keep them in the cubbies underneath there but I need to show you that toaster is really cute I use it quite a few times but I haven't filmed using it but anyway so underneath my bed I may have shown this before but I have this net here that runs the length of the bed and I keep some extra things in it so I'm going to go through and clean that out these are my racks that go on the grill so whenever i use public grills i put that on it so yeah it runs the length of my bed so i'm gonna go through there pull all that stuff out but for today i gotta get this table out <laughs> that is the focus of today get the table out hang the, the wallpaper and then i think the refrigerator and everything else will come in another video because i don't want to make this video too long this table folds down is part of the bed system my van sleeps four people and I've had I think maybe four different ladies uh, camp in this van with me ah, come on okay so it folds down if I can get it off the wall okay there we go so it folds down like so the pillow that's on this back dinette chair lays on top of this bed where my fresh water tank is it pulls out it's like the puzzle bed i think i do have a picture when the bed is set up if so i go ahead and insert it so it is part of the bed system so i'm not going to throw it away and when i sell my van i have to put it back together I'm not gonna toss it out but there's a number of reasons why I'm taking this bed down not because I don't want anybody else to sleep in my van but I'm taking it down because it takes up too much space I'm gonna get all these screws out and I will come back and let you guys see what it looks like because I don't want to have all this extra footage that I have to edit out so I'm gonna come back once I get the table out <laughs> I don't have to smash my fingers. Let's see. Aha. Now, 
to get this off, I gotta take out, what is that, four, five more screws? Six, seven? I think I'm gonna work on that another day. <laughs> I got the table out and that's the most important part. So happy to have this table out. Happy, happy. Look at all the space I have now. All this space. I guess I gotta pick up the screws. Put those in a sandwich bag so I don't lose them. I like how roomy that is already. That's the table that I bought to put in its place. And now that I have my old table out, I don't think I want a table in this space now. Turn my driver's chair around, see how much space I have, lots of space. But I honestly don't think I want a table there now. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it back to home goods. I want this space to remain open. I am loving this. I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Man, that made a big difference. Just use my fold up table when I need to because it'll fit perfect in this space. And then I can fold it up and put it away. Some people have put in a lagoon table that lays flat against the wall and then you lift it up as you need it. That's so expensive. I hang up the wallpaper. I need to give my cabinets a quick clean and then let that dry. So while that's drying, I'm going to finish removing some things out of the pantry. It's like playing Tetris <laughs> in this van trying to move things around, but I'm going to start moving some stuff outdoors so i have more space i had this piece of reflective here that i was going to put some magnets on both sides and put it on the outside of the van um, to help reflect the sun off of my refrigerator i am going to attempt to take the refrigerator out but if i can't get it out then this is going to be my backup but i really hope i can get that refrigerator out and i'm one of those people that i have to try i'm using some dawn dishwashing liquid it's great for cutting the grease I know there's probably some grease on this cabinet, on this cabinet. So I'm using some Dawn dishwashing liquid. I love using bleach. I'm gonna add a little bit of bleach. Have you guys started spring cleaning? Do you spring clean? Comment below. I want to know. Thank you to Morris for sponsoring today's video. They are running a spring sale on their website where you get a hundred dollars off of this cute little dryer here and if you use my discount code you get additional thirty dollars off so click the link in the description box below before you check out use my discount code where is tiffany for additional thirty dollars off that's a hundred and thirty dollars off the purchase price have fun Watch shopping me. just follow every move touch me let me know you want it to Don't have what you need Comment below, what color do you think I should wallpaper my bottom cabinets? I want it to be different from the top. So comment below, let me know. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute while I finish cleaning out my cabinets. So I've already started taking some things out, but I need to get the rest of the stuff out of here. What should I cook for Easter, for my Easter dinner? Somebody asked me to cook brisket. I went to the store that brisket so hot. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be cooking brisket. The barbecue sounds good. Something barbecue. Got everything out the cabinet. This is that bar that I was telling you about. It goes here. I'm not going to press it down, but it goes there. And that's where you hang your shirts and coats. The cabinet behind me is dry. These cabinets here is dry. Oh, I need to take this picture down and clean this wall. Clean it quickly off camera, set the camera back up, and then start hanging the wallpaper on this cabinet here. Yay. I'm excited about this wallpaper. Very excited. Yep. All right, let me get to it. I tore up my instructions when I was trying to cut this open. Here goes nothing. <laughs>
encountered two problems. <laughs> One, the wallpaper would not lay down on the sides for nothing. It lays down on the front of the cabinets, but I cannot get it to lay. See that? It won't lay. I don't know why. I don't know what that is. Hmm. And this is the same texture as the wall. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is once I'm halfway through laying the wallpaper, it starts um, going down so I can see a small little gap here. And I know that's because my cabinets are not flat. They're kind of bowed out. And so the wallpaper is not laying the way that I want to. And I'm OCD. I can't help it. I am who I am. It is driving me bananas. Bananas. Do you hear that popping noise? That's the wallpaper not sticking. So I can cut it at the end of the cabinet here, which only I would be able to see underneath the cabinet that it's not sticking. Uh, I have a heat gun somewhere. I could use my heat gun and see if that will help it to lay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was so hopeful. It looks pretty. It looks very pretty. That's the two problems. So one, I cannot get it to lay down on the sides, which is bothering me. It is really bothering me. And then two, it's kind of going at a slant because these cabinets are not flat. This may be a DIY failure because now the top is coming back up. It will not lay down. This really sucks. I don't know what to do. You guys remember that scene from the Diary of a Mad Black Woman? <laughs> when they was in that closet. It was like, rip it! And they're trying to rip them clothes. Rip it! That's what I want to do to this wallpaper. I just want to just rip it off. I cannot... I, this is not looking cute at all. I just want to rip it. I don't even want to wallpaper this if it's not going to stick to the cabinets. I don't know what else to do. And I didn't have any problem with this wallpaper laying down. The surface is all flat. This stinks. This white is pretty. It's very pretty. It looks so clean. Let me get myself together. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to play. I don't know what else to do. I don't want to hang anything else if this is not going to stay on this cabinet. There's no reason for me to do that. I'm not even going to pretend like I'm not sad because I am. I was very hopeful. Very hopeful. All right, Tiffany, let it go. Let it go, Tiffany. It's not the end of the world. There's more important things in this world than to wallpaper on your cabinets. I'm just tired of looking at all this brown. Like I'm over it. Over it. It's a relief to hold it all back. If all your memories in danger, selectively in all your anger, only you can change your ways. We all hide from the sun and in us at night. Don't be afraid of the world. 
that I don't wear and I need to donate them so I can make room for more clothes. <laughs> I've been working on my weight. I'm down 30 pounds. You guys won't notice until probably 50 pounds because I'm thick. I squeezed in this extra large shirt. I normally wear 2X. I'm making a lot of noise. I normally wear 2X, but I squeezed in this extra large. I'm just tired of wearing twos and threes. So, this dress I know I'm keeping. Uh, donate. One, two. I ain't wore shorts in so long. I always wear capris. I need to see if I can even fit those shorts. I have a lot of workout shirts. I want to keep those because I've been exercising. But a lot of this stuff I haven't even worn in years. That I need to get rid of. Donate. I got these baskets from the container store. They've held up pretty nicely. I'm gonna donate those. Donate. Stuff that I don't even wear. Yeah. I got a few more things I need to go through. I'm going to show you. My closet is nice and clean now. My cabinet is nice and clean. So I have everything out. And then I'm going to finish purging my clothes. Fold them up. And then put them back up there. So for now I'm going to just put these back. In the cabinets. Because I don't have a lot of space. <laughs> and then I'm going to go through those clothes. Now I need to clean, I need another trash bag. I need to, trash bags, clean out this here. There's stuff underneath this bed that I haven't seen since I moved in this bed. I'll be looking at my bra. coach better than that. I have some gifts made for my followers. I don't know where my other mitten is. I love handmade gifts. I got some extra towels, a knee brace. I need that. Uh, I need this. I'm all into hats. <laughs> More towels. Oh, there you go. These are hand mittens. How cute are those? Those was made by, I think Cheryl, one of my followers. She's a sweetheart. She made those for me. I think they're so cute. Love it. Reminds me of the 80s. We used to wear them. Put too much soap. Let me move this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna have to rinse it twice. I use too much soap.
forgot to uh, the drain tube is underneath the bottom of this and I pull the handle before releasing the drain tube so now I got water all over I'm making more work for myself see all that soap Too much soap. All right, I'm gonna let that do what it does and finish draining. So you can drain it with the drain tube or these four drain hose here. Because I'm multitasking, I'm gonna let it drain with the drain hose. shown this to you guys this is a screen that goes over my back door so if I want to leave my back door open and don't want bugs and flies and everything else in here I can put up this screen it snaps I've never used that but it snaps into place it snaps into place but I can't get to it and I don't want to open up this door any more than it is I have it cracked because it is kind of hot in here but um, it does snap into place. So at some point, I will show that to you guys. Yeah. And this screen came with my van. Yeah. I've never used it, ever. Only time I use my back door is when I'm getting my electrical cords out or dumping my tanks. I don't really use my back door that much because my bed is back here and I don't want all that dust in my bed. So that's why you guys don't see those fancy videos of me looking outside at a beautiful beach or sunset, which I've seen many out this back window, but I don't, I don't open up my door because I don't want the dust. I don't want it in my bed. So the only thing that I'm going to put back are my winter stuff in case it gets cold or it's cold. Uh oh, in some cold weather, I need this. I'm going to donate these to the thrift store too. Uh, this is what my Valentine's flowers were in. And I don't need those. How I many of you guys keep flowers until they die? Die. <laughs> my flowers was dead. I drained the water off of them. And then I let them dry out. And then I finally threw them away like a week ago. So I got the back half of the van clean. All of my overhead containers have been cleaned out. Cleaned the mesh. Uh -oh. That's my washing machine. Okay, it's done. I need to put the clothes in the dryer. All right, sorry about that. I had to put the camera on the tripod because my arm is hurting. Yesterday was arm days and my guns are hurting. <laughs> I've been working out, going out trying to get this body right by the end of the year. I got a lot of weight to lose. So it's going to take me a minute, but my arms was hurting. So I have it on the tripod. Anyways, I will show you guys once I put my toiletries back in the cabinet that's above my toilet. I cleaned out the cabinets below my sink. I have two cabinets. One I keep my tissue in and the other one I keep soap and other things like that. So I cleaned that out. Cleaned out the drawers from underneath my bed. I need to clean out my cubbies. I'm going to do that from the outside of the van so I don't have to crawl down on the floor if I do it from the outside of the van. I'm trying to think what else. I need to clean out my refrigerator. But I need to make a trip to Walmart and find a handheld vacuum with good suction i need it to like suck like all the dust particles clean up my mess so i can drive because i can't even get in the driver's seat <laughs> oh it's a hot mess spring is the perfect time to declutter and organize my space rid my walls of greasy fingerprints and my cabinets of excess stuff it makes me feel calmer and gives me a sense of accomplishment as i hit the reset button on my life this beautiful spring season throwing out the old and bringing in the new. Having the More Zero portable dryer in my home helps me to keep my space tidy and clean. As a full-time traveler who spends a lot of time driving across state lines, it can be daunting to find a clean laundry facility to wash and dry my clothes. The More Zero dryer saves me time and unnecessary trips 
searching for laundromats. Having a portable dryer can eliminate and lessen your trips to the laundromat. No more breaking your back, packing clothes up and down the stairs or in and out of the car. The Moore Zero Dryer is small but powerful. It can be easily stored away after every usage and taken out as needed. It takes up a lot less space compared to a regular size dryer. Having a portable dryer in your home helps maintain your safety and privacy. The dryer is perfect for senior citizens or those with disabilities. You can dry your clothes in the comfort and safety of your home. The low energy dryer is great for RVs and tiny homes and apartments. It is so convenient, especially for a person like me who is a germaphobe. I don't have to worry about having damp towels sitting around the van. All I do is just toss it in the dryer, let it spin for about 15 to 20 minutes and my towels are completely dry and I don't have to worry about having an extra moisture in the van which can cause mold. It helps me to stay on top of my laundry and it's so convenient for drying items in the van that will otherwise remain wet for days during the winter months or those cold summer nights. The More Zero Dryer has many great features I've shared in previous videos and have linked them in the description box below if you want to check them out. One of the other great features I haven't mentioned is that I don't have to store a bulky vent or water hose or have them hanging out my RV windows. The water from the clothes is sucked out during the drying process and stored in a water tray that is easy to access and empty. If you're looking for a new dryer for your home or the elderly loved one, Morris is running a spring sale on their website where you can receive $100 off this dryer until April 9th. If you use my discount code, where is Tiffany, at checkout, you'll receive an additional $30 off the dryer. That's $130 off now until April 9th. The link is in the description box below.